Well, last month, an Eagle Tech Academy senior took the top title in Indiana's 2022 Poetry Out Loud competition. To win, it takes a dedicated student with the ability to memorize, understand, and express the works as well of well-known artists. As Krista Miller reports, soon Lila Ward will represent 21 country on the national stage. I found poems that spoke to certain concepts that I always knew, that I always felt, but I could just never really put into words. We lived happily during the war. They take this message that they need other people to hear. America was falling, invisible house by invisible house by invisible house and they put it in such a beautiful way. In the city of money, in the country of money, our great country of money. Finishing her final year of high school, Lila Ward hopes to become the nation's Poetry Out Loud champion. I made it to the state competition as a freshman, and that's kind of where I really fell in love with poetry, and I realized this wasn't just something that was an assignment for me, it was something that I loved and something that I wanted to keep doing. Giving a complex performance. The Coming Woman by Mary Weston Fordham. Far more than memorizing and reciting. Oh, how could a civilized woman exist without a man cook. Some things where the emotion gets so strong in a poem that you just need to do something. In a competition adapted virtually the last few years. It didn't take away from the excitement where, um, you know, they're bringing up the top three on this Zoom meeting and we have it projected on this big TV and my name pops up and the room just explodes and it was, it was still just as magical as if I was around a million people. Coach Joe Urschel has helped her go beyond state. I guess I've heard you do this poem a number of times now. Yeah. Those good long pauses allow us, again, for the title to sink in. There's a, there's a gift that the coach gives, and, the, and the, the coach's gift is just honest feedback. Poetry, in many ways, is, is meant to be heard. And so when Lila's delivering that poem well, we're hearing it the way it was meant to be um, read, or the way it was meant to be said. Ward, carefully choosing her three poems from a database of hundreds, addressing issues like war, child neglect, and defying social expectations. When you're having meaningful conversations about uh, themes related to humanity, you can't go wrong. And poetry out loud gives teachers a chance to have those meaningful conversations about what it means to be human. And it just so happens that we get to do that through poetry. Bringing her connection to the written word into the next stage of life. I think there's just a point where you realize that poetry isn't just something that you uh, force yourself to get through in high school. It's, it's art and it's beautiful and it's a way that people express themselves when they have no other way to get that message across. It's really worth checking out. Now, normally Poetry Out Loud's national finals are in Washington, D.C., but this year they are being held virtually. Lila Ward has already submitted her performances of poems The Coming Woman, Invisible Children, and We Lived Happily During the War. The semifinals will be streamed on Sunday, May 1st. For the student that wins first place, a cash prize of $20,000. We put a link on how to watch on our website, WPTA21.com. We'll, of course, bring you updates on Lila Ward's progress. We wish her the very best of luck.